what the finance a oh, wallet romance welcome to the 21 day money challenge an initiative to help and grow your money as much as you can use these tips tricks and tools in your personal finance as well as your business finance share your journey and remember you're not alone show some love by smashing the thumbs up button so that it can reach more people and do comment on your progress are you ready let's get started for today Day 14 it is and that is we are completing two thirds of the 21 day money challenge right so it's going faster than you think and I hope you are quickly able to implement a lot of the points that we've been discussing and I hope to see your finances and your money grow in leaps and bounds. So today day 14 is actually going to be an extension of day 13 right compared uh, to do with your expenses yesterday we saw how the expenses can be classified into various buckets and uh, today i'll also give you some pointers on how you can take better control of your expenses you know especially with the festive season around you know you definitely are tempted to splurge you know with gifts on yourself and you know attractive offers and sales that are going on it does make it very tempting for any person to go overboard regarding their expenses so what do you think can be like a a better way to control and manage your expenses and i'm going to give you some pointers here so you can use these techniques whenever you think uh, you want to take a better charge of your financial condition so i'm an acronym person like i said before so i want to leave you with an acronym here so that you know it's easy for you to remember and you can utilize it the moment that you want the acronym you have to remember is care we say take care isn't it so take care of your expenses so c here stands for control you know this is what sid did uh, how is he controlling his spend because uh, unless you set yourself some realistic limits or some sort of a trigger you never know and then you know once you have little money with you it's easy for you to indulge splurge and just go ahead and uh, buy things that you want or rather buy things that you don't want as well so what is your trigger for you to control your expenses so that you know you you know that you are actually uh, not incurring unnecessary expenses right so c is to control your expenses a is the alternate evaluation you need to evaluate alternatives to a particular uh, spend that you want to incur so let's say you want to go and procure uh, let's say a laptop for instance so is it just that you want to go in for one particular brand or or even in that particular brand if you have you know narrowed down on the brand you know what are the different models that are available which alternative is actually going to be best suited for you you know in practical terms as well as you know the one that suits your wallet so it's important for you to look into every aspect of it so compare different brands uh, compare different models that you have and then go in for what is the best option for you for your requirement as well as something that can be well within your budget and i hope you've already set a budget for something you know any uh, big one-time expense that you want to income so c is to control a is the alternate evaluation so r is required is a particular spend even required Many times it's easy for us to get carried away uh, and then, you know, just go ahead and buy things for the sake of buying. And in reality, we may not even use it or may not use it as much as the level that it was meant to be utilized for. So before you indulge, just take that moment's pause, reflect, see if that expense is even required, you know, is it going to, if it's really required, how is it going to benefit you? right that's something you need to take a call on so that you're more cautious towards the amount that you are spending last is the e and the care so the e is enhance what do i mean by enhance how is a particular spend enhancing the value for you so is it like for example making your life better 
is it going to enhance your revenue or uh, how is it going to help help you or your business or your family i mean whatever it is but how is it enhancing the value for you so that you know that by incurring a particular thing it's actually making your life better in some way or the other so this is like a mini checklist that you know you can run through by yourself and before you decide to buy anything or you know splurge your money on especially something little big then it would be good to you know run this checklist before you actually make that financial decision so let me summarize that for you again c is to control so that you know you can set like a trigger points so that you know that uh, you're not uh, over indulging and not going overboard on your expenses a is to see what is the alternate you know alternate that you have to evaluate r is the spend even required and e is to see how is it enhancing the your life by you know incurring that spend so be prudent with it you know you could probably the exercise that you need to do is you know to prepare like a scorecard you know on these parameters before you want to buy something so that you know just run these things past yourself and of course most importantly see if it is well within your financial means right it's important to live within the means that you have so take a call based on that and wishing you the very best take care of course take care of yourself and take care of your expenses too so stay safe and catch you tomorrow bye